Alright, I'm clearly not going to actually get any videos. Well, new videos. So, let's compromise. Something, I've mentioned this before, my channel is really about showing off my collection, so. Why not just straight up do that? Certain things here, like, you might have seen Zelda once. <clears throat> I'm not the biggest collector, like, I don't have anything that's, like, properly worth value, but hey, I still got stuff. So let's take a look at it. Um, for this video, we are mostly going to be looking at the games for certain consoles. Other consoles, it's just going to be I have this. Some of them, it's going to be I have this and here's my games. Why? Because certain consoles I just use like DS. I have a well, let's start there. Why not? And is the cartridge? Yes, it is. <laughs> this will be the best example of what I mean. Um, DS. I got a DSi XL because this thing looks per perfectly fine in my hands. No battery on it. But for this thing, I just use one of these fake cartridges with a micro SD ca card slot in it. So that's what I mean by some of these consoles. It'll just be, here, I have this. Other consoles I'm doing that with are modern consoles. Like, I got a Switch Lite. I got a Switch. I don't even know where my Switch is because I don't play on it. Barely play on this, but I needed this because, fun fact, um, for my right Joy-Con, the stick fell off. Like, not just, like, it broke off, like, this thing. It just fell off entirely. Like, I can stick a toothpick in there, and it would still work. But the stick is just gone. Thing drifted so hard, it drifted off the console. Alright, um, let's talk about some older stuff. Um, let's get a little bit of variety in here. <clears throat> Grab this old thing. This is something I would gladly do a video on if it worked. Uh, yeah. You can probably tell by the condition of this. It it doesn't work. You can see down there, it's absolutely corroded. And the actual board is corroded, so I can't fix it. Would that washer be quiet, please? But what do I use this thing for? Why do I still have this even though it's broken? It's a really good iPad stand. I play Minecraft a lot, so. Yep. That's why I still have that thing. Um, let's keep with the older theme just for a little bit. Let me. I have my game shelf to the side. I'm just going to be randomly grabbing from it. Not really randomly, just whatever I decide to grab from it. And the reason I'm not just showing it to you guys is because I have this thing a mess right now. So I don't feel like cleaning. Pitfall. All right, I got my Atari games. The fall isn't even in the box. <laughs> um, we'll go by these one by one, even though you already saw them. Um, I am gonna quickly organize these just a little bit. Let's start with the basic label ones. I got four of these. Um, and by basic label, you'll see what I mean. Nothing special, no special colors other than the text. So, just a basic font. We got Mario Bros. All these are just Atari. No. Well, most of these, I'm pretty sure, are just Atari branded. Mario Bros, Asteroids, Missile Command, and Pac-Man. Yep. Um, now let's get into, I'll save this one for last. Um, some people would probably consider Space Invaders to follow that line. I don't. But let's talk about some of these other ones. All the cartridges 
mostly look the same, in my opinion. There's certain ones, like, you'll see at the end that don't look the same, but most of these, yeah, you can tell this is a 2600 game. Except for the fact that this one has it, the label upside down. What the heck, Coleco? So, Donkey Kong. I own two of these. I don't know where the other one is. And then I got E.T. and Big Bird's Egg Catch. <laughs> uh, both of those you've seen in videos before. Again, I'm saving that one for last. Let's get to the Activision. Back when Activision was actually a good company. And funny thing, um, most of, I'm pretty sure all of these have a little bit of the Activision label curse. You can see it very well on boxing. These labels just get destroyed over time. Pitfall is the cleanest. A little bit on the end there. And then Dolphin. It, it's Dolphin. I like Dolphin. Dolphin is fun. What happened to this? Why is there stuff under the label? And then Pitfall, I also had the box and manual for And lastly, the one Parker Brothers, and this is why I say the cartridges can look a little weird, but for the most part, if you look at it from the bottom, you can you can tell. So yeah. That's everything for Atari. My bed is gonna be a mess after this. All right. Um, let's head a bit mo more modern. Let me grab the PSP stuff. So, first off, let's show off the PSP. I have a 1001 model. I replaced the battery in this thing recently, so... In terms of condition, it could be better. Like, this could definitely be a lot better. But it, it works fine, other than square buttons sometimes get stuck when I'm playing Mortal Kombat. Oh, what do I have in this? Mid the thing I use for Mortal Kombat, of course. <laughs> Everything works m mostly just, like, brand new. So... I have no complaints. I love my PSP. This is the only PlayStation I have left. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, let's get to my games. Most of these I have in the cases. I only got one that doesn't have its case. Um, I'll do movies second. Um, first off, probably my favorite PSP game. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. It's Final Fantasy. I I personally like how this one works. I'm not the biggest RPG guy, but... Again, I haven't picked this up in a while, but... I like this. Oh, also, it's complete. Sonic Rivals. Also complete. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this. I feel like... I f the thing is, Sonic Rivals feels like it could be a mobile game. And that's probably my problem with it. Camera's shaking a lot, because I have... You guys know how I have this set up. I always just put it on some tapes. Oh, it is falling. Shrek, support better. Um, You already know where the thing is in this, but yeah, complete. And then Afterburner. Uh, this is the only one where I have to have a um, aftermarket shell, because... And also complete. <laughs> um, I did have the original case well i would have had it but it was destroyed so i got lucky and got that repaired with a brand new shell oh my gosh hold up sorry shrek you're being demoted to second rugrats is taking your spot and also i'm pushing this in a little bit farther all right, um, for t movies, I only have two. Final Fantasy VII, Advent Children, and Astro Boy. Yeah. Um, well, this one's definitely complete. You gotta love... Like, 
Nintendo Switch did this for a while where you have artwork in here. It looks awesome. Um, <laughs> just Sephiroth and fire, right? Um, I know, I'm pretty sure these are both complete because, I mean, I got this one brand new, so. Yes, I opened it. And then I'm a Scott the Waz fan, so obviously I had to get this. It's not going to focus. It's Madden 08. I hate Madden. But yeah, that's the PSP stuff. All right. Um, I would talk about my 3DS now, but I, I was just on vacation. I accidentally left it in the car. So I don't have access to that right now, but I homebrewed it and I'm just, I, yeah, but the eShop is gone. So what's the point? <laughs> Nintendo ain't going to let you pay. Then you're just not going to pay. Um, I feel like showing off the NES first, just cause that's like my biggest stuff. Let's talk about my N64. Um, first off, I have four controllers. I have one aftermarket controller. It's the aqua, teal, whatever you want to call it, color. I have two basic controllers. Both have the problem with Mario Party. And if one of the five of you from the gaming channel, which I'm probably going to post this to the gaming channel as well, because, I mean, this makes sense. And you've actually been paying attention. You would know that my N64 controller, my good one, kind of got destroyed in a way. It's joystick. So yesterday night, I actually took my good green N64 controller apart. And now this thing is working so much better. Like, it's hard to explain, like, on camera, but before, it would get stuck like that. Like, I could just do that, and it would be stuck. Now, I can actually move it a lot better. Like, it's plastic on plastic. It's always going to be bad. If I could get some lube for this, I would love to, but can't really do that. Um, hold up. I got to grab one other thing. I keep a single N64 thing on the gaming shelf. Um, rumble pack. I got a rumble pack. It, it works. And the batteries haven't exploded in it yet. Alright, let's talk about my games. Um, two I need to set. A, oh yeah, only one now. Because I lost the other... One that I still should have, and the other one I sold. Um, one I just got set aside because it's reproduction. Uh, I got Star Fox 64. Can I, can we focus? That is way too bright. Thank you. Extreme G, really fun racing game. Pokemon Snap, I've completed this many times. And by many, I mean three. One of them I recorded. It's on the gaming channel and this channel because I didn't delete it. Uh, go watch it if you want. And Super Smash Bros. Look at this cartridge. <laughs> I used to have more. I used to have Pokemon Stadium. I used to have Mario Kart 64 Repro. Both of those were Repro, actually. <gasps> but I lost Mario Kart and I sold Pokemon Stadium because because I don't play it anymore. I sold my Game Boy a while ago, and I sold my Game Boy games, so I don't have any of the Pokemon games anymore. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta grab my Game Boy now. Again, I want to save NES for last. Oh, wait, hold up. I'm completely skipping over Mario 64. Everyone recognizes this cartridge. At least they should. Yes, Rip Rock. Yeah, I've... I've been playing that. Yeah. Here's my travel bag. 
Where's my Game Boy? I know I didn't forget it. Yeah, plastic. There it is. There's its games. Alright, let's start with Game Boy. It's a Game Boy Pocket. You already saw Warrior Blast. Game Boy Pocket. Black color. Labels are kind of destroyed. Other than that. Obviously, powers and plays. Um, then we got Donkey Kong. Yoshi, which honestly, this Yoshi cartridge is in like perfect condition. It's awesome. And then Wario Blast. <laughs> Bomberman versus. <laughs> and that's all I have for Game Boy. I would like to get a couple more, but I don't, I really don't play my Game Boy that often. Like, there's certain consoles I play fairly often. You'll tell, you'll be able to tell which console I play the most in a second. Um, but real quickly, before we get to that console, my NES, um, just real quickly, I do have a Wii, it is in the living room. I do have an Xbox One S. It is also in the living room. So I'm not pulling out my GameCube games. I'm not pulling out my Wii games. All you need to know is I got Spyro and Sonic for GameCube, and I got Smash Bros. Brawl and regular Wii Sports. I I don't want Wii Sports Resort, honestly. All right. <sighs> it's time for the big guns. Let's start. Let's just do this slowly. Let's start with the game, Genie. I got the book and I got the thing. No box. Update on the pile. <laughs> now let's get into my two aftermarket games. And by aftermarket, I really mean like third party. I got Afterburner. I love Afterburner. And I got Dizzy with the manual. Now let's do the battery games. I'm going slow to build up suspense, even though you don't care. Kirby. Dragon Warrior. Zelda. Update on the pile. It's slowly getting bigger. Um, I'm winding down to the main event here. Which, if you're wondering, that's my black box games. I love those things. Um, let's get the officially licensed, but still third-party games out of the way. I gotta grab them. Yeah, that's all of them. Starting off, Super C. I don't have Contra. Just Super Contra. Bart versus the Space Mutants. You saw that in an episode of Fleet Market Finds. Ninja Gaiden 2. Ninja Gaiden 1. With the manual. Kid Nicky. TMNT 2, the arcade game, even though it's just TMNT, the arcade game. And Bugs Bunny's bl birthday blowout. I got like five more games before we get to the main thing. I was wrong, it was six. <laughs> Punch out, Mike Tyson. Dr. Mario. Donkey Kong. Classics. That is Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. 
Super Mario Bro- wait, not Super Mario Bros. Mario Brothers. <laughs> like the commercial says. Mario 2. And Mario 3. Ugh, hold up. Alright, dog ran off. <laughs> Had to go help get him. Alright. Well, I don't know if I did the last update. It's time for the main event. That's what? What is this? Oh. Why was Bart out of its sleeve? I have his manual. Better yet, where is Bart now? There he is. Alright. Now it's time for the main event. My black box games. You'll notice I have all of these in a sleeve. And I do keep these things organized. <laughs> So, starting off, we would we would have my light gun games. Duck Hunt. I only have Duck Hunt. And yes, it's regular Duck Hunt. Toss them by section. Now we got sports games. Baseball. Soccer. 10 yard fight tennis my favorite one golf everyone's least favorite one volleyball it's tennis but be like slightly worse in my opinion and pro wrestling I still need more Um, then we got, oh, we just got the rest of, oh wait, no, we got two first, the, what are these even called? Programmable. Mock Rider, this thing's a bit faded. Hold up. And then Excite Bike. I find it funny that both of these have bikes. And now, the last one, the Action Series. Starting off. Pinball. Second, Kung Fu. Third, Urban Champion. And you can probably guess what's first. Well, last. Mario won. And now, I will pan the camera over for this last toss. And there you have it, folks. That is my video game collection. And today's thumbnail. <sighs> Real quickly, one last thing. Um, I'm going to show you how dirty the game shelf is. <laughs> I need to replace the lights in that. Yeah. This thing is pretty dusty. I'm going to grab a duster, and <laughs> you can see it best right there. And I'm going to clean off the shelf. I'll see you guys next time.